Good morning, gentle ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to give you an overview on the main achievement and the priorities and work plan for GBF Benin, uh, let's say, in the coming year. The outline of my presentation is the following. After a brief introduction, I will talk about the main achievements of GBF activities in Benin and then continue with the presentation of challenges and priorities. And therefore, I will give you an overview of the plan for our activities in 2015 and finished by, let's say, some information on GBF Africa meeting that Benin host last July. For those who don't know Benin, Benin is a tropical country it's in, Western, in, it's in West Africa, and lies between 6 degrees and 30 minutes to 12 degrees and 30 minutes of north latitude. And uh, in the north part, it lies between 1 degree to 3 degrees and 50 minutes of east longitude, and, but at the south part, it's more, it's narrower, and then lies between 2 degrees and uh, uh, 3 degrees 30 minutes of east longitude. It's submitted to a sub equatorial climate and uh, with, uh, let's say, amount of 1,200 millimeters of, rain, of rainfall. It's home for biodiversity. We have about 3,000 of plant species and more and, and many thousands of animal species. Let's say Benin became member of GBF in 2004 and became a voting member in November 2011. And since then, we achieved some key activities. But the activities are achieved in the framework of partnerships, of partnership and also financial support. First of all, we receive the financial support from the SEPSEDEC project. Uh, with the partnership of uh, GB France. And second, we receive the financial support of the JARES Biodiversity Foundation through the partnership of INBIO uh, with the help of uh, Maria Mora from Costa Rica. And so now we, we receive a new JARES project with the partnership of Peterson Town from the University of Kansas. I see the opportunity to thank very much all those kind people who help us to achieve those activities. And uh, it's also the occasion for me to thank very much the JARES Biodiversity Foundation and its staff members. I know that some are here. The main achievements we did in Benin are uh, in the framework of the project we have with Costa Rica. And uh, we, in the framework of that project, we try to develop infrastructure for our biodiversity information. We build also capacity, we mobilize data, and develop the National Biodiversity Information System portal. With regard to infrastructure, we actually have a server, camera, and also scanner, printer, laptop, and also an air scan. Talking about capacity building, we did many workshops, <coughs> particularly with the assistance of, uh, let's say, uh, the team from uh, InBio. We did capacity building in November 2012, and at national level, we did another workshop in September 2013. This capacity building addressed the training on geographic information system using the QGIS software. software. And the audience of uh, particip the participants are most of the time students of a university, but also representatives of uh, institutions 
work in the field of biodiversity in Benin. The capacity building also addressed data collection, download, downloading data from DB portal and using them, for instance, for niche modeling. We also address the capacity of plant specimen digitization, and this was carried out uh, in the National Herbarium of Benin. In the framework of a project with Costa Rica, we publish about 30,000 occurrence data. But this is just a beginning, a very, let's say, starter point. Because now we are ready to mobilize, let's say, uh, hundreds of thousands of occurrence data that will be published in the coming months, in the coming years, uh, on DB site. One of the most important achievements was, was the development of the National Biodiversity Information System portal uh, with naturally the help of uh, the team from Costa Rica, the team of INBIO. And we are very proud of this because this is an important window to show, let's say, or to give information, to give relevant information on the biodiversity status of Benin. And then, when you go to that site, you can have information on different taxonomic groups that are already available on the portal. It's very important, but there is a way of improvement, and now, uh, naturally, we'll continue our collaboration with uh, uh, the team from INBIO. <coughs> As regarding challenges and priorities for the coming year, we will continue to mobilize data. It's important for us because we need it for to support research activities and support decision making in our country. As data are accumulating, we need to clean them, to think about how to clean them, to enhance fit their fitness for use, and we also intend to fill data gaps after the analysis. With regard to the informatics, it's important for us to have, let's say, a stable team with real capacity in informatics to publish data through our informatic infrastructure. As for the engagement, we need to consolidate the partnership with national institutions working in the field of, bi of biodiversity. We need also to enhance the capacity of the staff members of the partner institutions at national level. Those institutions who are ready or which are ready to, let's say, publish their data through our portal, through GBIF portal. We also need to develop strategic cooperation with universities and research institutions. Indeed, it's very important to raise funds. As you know, we cannot wait for fresh money somewhere, but we are able to develop proposals and try to submit them at regional and international level okay, to have more funds to continue our activities. We need to enhance the project elaboration and their submission. We need also to promote in-depth capacity building in biodiversity informatics. Um, biodiversity, biodiversity informatics is a very new field, let's say at international level, but very new in Benin. And we need to have staff members uh, capacitated in that field to carry on, on a su sustainable base the activities we undertake. What about our plan activities for, let's say, 2014-2015? The activities we plan are mostly in the framework of a new JRS project. And uh, the new JRS project's objectives are the following and uh, are the support of our activities in the coming year. First of all, 
extend and cons consolidate partnership with Benin institutions working in the field of bi bi biodiversity. Mobilize more plant and animal data on the base of what have been undertaken. And also mobilize global data for Benin. Global data for Benin, the specificity here is, is to try to repa repatriate data overseas. And we will do this in the framework of a sub-regional project that is now going on and also financed, or let's say, supported by Jaras Biodiversity Foundation. We will also advance Benin's capacity in biodiversity analysis to have people or me staff members capacitated okay, to carry on activities in biodiversity and also perform education in the field of biodiversity for our students. Last July, we are delighted or we are honored to host the fifth regional GBIF Africa meeting in Benin. And we were honored that the secretariat was represented by the executive secretary, Donald, and the senior program officer, Olaf. And we were also honored by the presence of the regional representative of GBIF Africa, Ulda, and the representative of 14 of the nodes of 14 countries within Africa. It was a great success. In the framework of that regional meeting, we had also side events, such as a meeting on the Jaras Africa project, and also the first meeting of the Science Committee of GBF Africa. Okay, I would like to thank you very much for your helpful attention. Thank you very much, Jean. Um, do we have any, any questions for Jean? I can't. Ah, one over, over there. Introduce yourself, please. Thank you, Jean. Um, are there any plans to keep uh, doing uh, this kind of inter country training sessions, maybe again with JRS money or with some other money? Thank you, Jos. Um, in the, the actual, the ongoing JRS project, uh, the first uh, two activities, extend and consolidate partnership with Benin's institution work in the field of biodiversity. And uh, the second one, mobilize more plant and animal data. In the framework of the, those two objectives, we plan, let's say, several workshops for capacity building and also naturally data mobilization. So it's fully okay, planned in our activities. Yes, please, a question over here. Yes, thank you. Actually, that's a, a beginning of a, a very important work. But then, what do you see as constraints or difficulties you are facing in advancing that work forward? I would like to repeat your question. Yeah, I'm asking, do you see any problems or difficulties in advancing your work? Uh, uh, there is uh, no world without problem, okay? But we are trying to manage our constraints. Uh, the first uh, important constraint is with regard to, let's say, the reluctance of people to provide data. That's uh, a very big problem for us. But by convincing them, by talking with them, by talking to them, etc., we try to have more and more data to publish on GBIF portal. Uh, the second one is, uh, uh, let's say, related to financial issue. Actually, we are trying to lobby at the government level, and the first result is that Benin accepted to host the fifth regional, uh, regional meeting. 
and uh, the second one will now to uh, is to try to have a, a line in the national budget to support our activities because this is lacking at national level. So those are the kinds of constraints we have to manage to keep forward our activities. Thank you, and we'll take one last question over here. Oscar Orrego from Colombia. Uh, what are your plans about the users, national users, of those information? Um, actually, uh, I can clearly see that we are not, at the moment, thinking much about them. But it's clear that, with time, we will try, let's say, to have their feedback on the fitness for use of the data to know how, let's say, to clean more the data they use. But they are, uh, let's say, actually, they are already using our portal to download data. So I have information about this. Thank you.